thank you for being with me today. I Naima Afrin, teacher of class 3 from Mahmoudpur branch. Welcome you all to today's video class. Dear students, I wish all of you were safe and sound by the grace of Almighty Allah. Okay, now I am going to start my class. Students, already you know that we have started chapter that's name was what? Yes, measurement. Already we have finished from the measurement chapter, uh, weight measurement and length measurement. We have solved some problem from this weight measurement and length measurement. Isn't it students? Yes. So, so look students, what is this in my hand? Yes, it is called clock and why we have to use clock use clock to know the time isn't it students yes and why i am showing you this clock because today we will solve two problem which will be related with the time that's why i am showing you this clock so now students i am going to start my class Today our topic is measurement. Okay, students, from measurement chapter, I will solve two problems which will be related with time. Students, take out your book, CW copy in front of you. So, and open page 105. And students, you will be glad to know that Problem number 12 is related with our class also. Okay. So, look, I am reading out the question. Be attentive whenever I will read the question. All of you, look at the board. Mathematics class of a school starts at 8.30 and breaks after 40 minutes. At what time does the mathematics class break? Students, after reading out the question, we can easily understand this uh, problem is related with what? Yes, with time. So, look at the question that mathematics class of a school start at 8.30 and breaks after so here is the important word here is after okay after 40 minutes so after 40 minutes means what after 40 minutes means the class start 8 30 and after 40 minutes it breaks okay so what we have to do we have to go ahead or forward 40 minutes from this 8.30 minute. Okay. Because there is the word after. After means from this 8.30 minutes, we have to go ahead 40 minutes or forward 40 minutes. So, what method we have to use there? You think at first? Yes, students. If we have to forward or go ahead, then we have to do what? Addition. We have to do what? Addition. So what is the question here? At last, what time does the mathematics class break? So now I am start writing. Look at the board. Now I am start writing. Okay. Look at the board all of you. I am writing here mathematics class. class started at we know 8 30 okay and in the second line i am writing breaks after how many minutes breaks after 40 minutes breaks after 40 
minutes. What we have to do here? We have to do here addition sign. Okay. So now I am doing the addition. Look at there. 0 plus 0. What will be there? Yes students there will be 0. Okay. And if I do addition here 4 plus 3. What will be there? Then it will be 7. Isn't it students? Okay. So now I am not carrying anything in my hand. So this 8 will be here. Okay. So we got the answer 8 hour 70 minutes. And now I am writing here mathematics. Mathematics class breaks at 8.70. So students look at the board. At first I have written mathematics class started at 8.30 and there will be breaks. breaks after 40 minutes. So now at last I have done here addition and I got the answer that mathematic class breaks at 8 hour 70 minutes. Look students there is 70 minutes. So it is not our final answer. Okay because we know that 1 hour means how many minutes? 60 minutes. So, we can change these 70 minutes into hour. We can take one hour from these 70 minutes. So, how can it possible? Now, I am showing you that how can we change these 70 minutes into hour. Look here, I am writing here. I can show it like this way. 70 minutes, okay. 70 minutes. We can write 70 minutes as a two part. Like this way I can write 60 minutes. We can write 70 minutes like this is 60 minutes plus 10 minutes. Okay. So we know students 60 minutes means what? This 60 minutes means we can write as a 1 hour. Here I am writing 1 hour. And these 10 minutes will be left. Okay students. As we know that 1 hour equal to 60 minutes. Okay, students. So, what changes will be come here? There, look, we got 1 hour from this 70 minutes. So, our hour portion will be changed. Okay. So, now I am showing how can we write at the last mathematics class. Mathematics. Class breaks at eight hour seventy. Okay. So now I got here eight hour. It is our at first we got eight hour. Now we got one our 10 minutes so our hour portion will be changed now okay so there is 8 hour and there is 1 hour so uh, total it will become now 9 hour okay so 9 hour and 10 minutes 10 minutes is left here so look students this is our final answer okay 
Now, at the last, I am writing the answer. Mathematics. Mathematics. Class. We got the answer now. Breaks at. Breaks at. 9 hour 10 minutes. Like this way, we will write the answer at last. So students, what we have done in this problem, again I am repeat it, that at first we have to find out when the mathematics class will break. Okay, we have to find out these things. So that's why I have written at first, mathematics class started at 8.30 breaks after 40 minutes so we have to add this 40 with this 8 30 minutes because there is a clue word after 40 minutes so we have to go forward and that's how we have to do here addition we have to do here addition okay and now we got the answer here after doing the addition 8 hour 70 minutes but i cannot write here 70 Okay, because we know students whenever uh, it cross 60 minutes, then we have to change it into hour. I am showing you here that from this 70 minutes, what we can get? This from this 70 minutes, we can uh, write it in a two part that is 60 minutes plus 10 minutes. And all of you, you know that 60 minutes means one hour and 10 minutes will be late. So, we got 1 hour 10 minutes from this 70 minutes. Now, we have to change our hour portion because we got 1 hour here. So, I, at last I have written here, mathematics class breaks at 8 hour 70 minutes and at first we have 8 hour and now we have 1 hour 10 minutes. So, now it will be total 9 hour 10 minutes. It is our last answer. So at last I have written the answer. Mathematics class breaks at 9 hour 10 minutes. So students I hope all of you have understood problem number 12. So now we will do again another problem from this page 105. And now our problem number will be 16. So look at the board all of you. I am reading out the question. Be attentive now. What is the question for you? Look, if you travel 50 minutes by bus and 20 minutes by rickshaw, how long do you travel all together? So this is the question for you. Here they are telling you that I am traveling not only bus but I am traveling also Rickshaw. I am traveling by rickshaw also. So, what we have to do here? What is the question for you? What is the asking part for you? There is the question for you. How long do you travel all together? So, from this word, we can easily understand that by using which method, we can find out the answer. Okay. How long? Do we travel all together? So look students, here I am going to start writing. But before that, you tell me that which method we have to use there. All together is the clue word of which method. Yes students? Yes, very good. We know all together is the clue word of addition. So we have to add this meaning. 50 minutes plus 10 minutes. So look at the board how I am writing now. I am writing now traveled traveled by bus. How many minutes I travel by bus? 50 minutes. Okay. And Second line, I am writing traveled by 
rickshaw we have to add these minutes then we can find out the answer at last so there will be 20 minutes as there is a clue word all together so easily we can understand we have to do here the addition to find out the answer okay so i am writing here the answer do the addition again 0 plus 0 there will be what yes students there will be 0 and 2 plus 5 what will be there yes 7 will be there so i got here 70 minutes I will write here all together I travel 70 minutes. Okay students but look at the board here there is again 70 minutes. So you know I told you before that if it costs 60 minutes then we can uh, change minute into hour. So again I can show you how can we change 70 minutes into hour I, here I am showing you that 70 minutes we can write in another way that we can write in a two parts 70 minutes ok I am writing it again 70 minutes I can write as a two part that will be 60 minutes plus 10 minutes ok so already we know that 60 minute means what this 60 minute means one hour so we can change uh, 60 minute as a hour and then what will happen 10 minutes will be left again you can uh, write here that uh, we know 1 hour means 60 minutes so we can change 70 minutes into hour we cannot write 70 minutes because we know if it cross 60 minutes then we can make one hour from this minute okay so it is our last answer we got the answer at last one hour ten minutes at last i have to write the answer that they are asking you how long do you travel all together we got the answer here one hour ten minutes so i am writing here i traveled i traveled one hour 10 minutes ok all together this is our answer so students again I am uh, telling you about this problem that how can we solve this problem Look, they are telling you if you travel 50 minutes by bus and 20 minutes by rickshaw, okay. So, they are asking you about how long do you travel all together. So, we have got this clue word here all together. From this clue word, we can easily understand that we, we have to do here addition. So, that's why I am doing the addition here. I have written here travel by bus 50 minutes, travel by rickshaw 20 minutes. Then I add uh, these two 50 minutes and 20 minutes and all together I got 70 minutes but again I am telling you that what is the reason why we have to cannot write why we cannot write 70 minutes because we know whenever it will cross 60 minutes then we can change minute into hour that's why I am writing here here 70 minutes we can write 70 minutes as a two part 60 minutes plus 10 minutes and as we know that 60 minutes means one hour so i can write one hour here and 10 minutes has left here 
and I am given the formula. I have written the formula here, and we got the answer at last that one hour ten minutes. So I have written here answer. I traveled one hour ten minutes all together. Dear students, I hope that all of you have understood today's two problem. Okay, so now time for diary writing. All of you take out your diary, and I hope that you will practice properly at your home. Okay, today our S W number will be sixteen. It is our diary. I am writing here. S W sixteen do from page one hundred five and problem number will be thirteen and fourteen. So everybody must complete your homework and send it to me. My dear students, no more today. Students, you know that. Every star shines at night, but there are some stars they shine us at bright day also. I hope that one day we will become a big star and shine us all the time. So keep on learning. Bye bye and take care, all of you.